Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna to be making three easy freezer meals. I'm Kendra. And I'm Kristen. So we're all about easy family dinners and to have three ready to go in the freezer is like a dream come true for every busy mom. Right? Especially you, you just had a baby. I just had a baby. Yes. I have the eye bags don't tell you how tired I am. I don't know how well, so this is my saving grace. And so I'm about like every Sunday, I'll have my husband help me in the kitchen and we'll just kind of prep for the week oh. and this is how we do it. Freezer meals. Can I borrow your husband? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's okay. So with each of these freezer meals, we decided to do something special. Yes. We made each freezer meal instant pot friendly, slow cooker friendly. It's a dump and go recipe and they each have six ingredients or less. We're doing the six ingredients because we have something special to show you. We just came out with our new cookbook. This is our seventh cookbook. Seventh. So mm -hmm. you may know Kristen or the sisters from YouTube, but we actually have a website, sixsisterstuff.com, and we also have cookbooks. So this is our most recent cookbook that just came out, and it's six ingredients or less. Could it get any easier? Desserts, sides, main dishes, all the things, six ingredients or less. Right, and most ingredients you already have in your pantry, and so yeah. it's really not a ton no. of like extra weird things yeah. that you need to buy. This just teaches you how to make meals with what you got. Exactly, so. <laughs> exactly. So anyways, six ingredients or less. We'll put a link in the description for you so you can check out our cookbook there. All right, we're gonna move on Kay. to the freezer meals. What is first? Mm, this is our teriyaki chicken, and I love this one because it has pineapple in it. Mm. Why is that the best combination? Pineapple and chicken. I, agree. I don't know. I, I agree. love it. It just tastes like Hawaii, maybe? Maybe. Like, close your eyes and just picture it? <laughs> maybe. Take okay, there. so the secret when making freezer meals, we love to make them in plastic bags. Yes. Um, and we love to write the instructions mm -hmm. before you put the food in. Sometimes I forget and have to yep. do it after, but it's a lot easier to do it before. So we're gonna write the Instant Pot instructions and the Slow Cooker instructions. And I always find it useful to write down the title of the recipe because when they're in the <gasps> freezer and they, they all, all are like jumbled and everything's together, they yes. all look very similar, so. Teriyaki chicken. So these actually are all three chicken recipes because chicken is literally the easiest thing to make both in the Instant Pot and the slow cooker. So we're just doing quick, easy frozen chicken recipes. Instant all right. Pot, how long did you say? Instant Pot, minutes? because it's frozen and they are a little bit smaller, I would do 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. On that one, whenever you're cooking like chicken or meat, you wanna make sure that you let it release on its own, so. Okay, the slow cooker. Slow cooker, slow. slow, six to eight hours. Okay. On. Sorry, on low, not but slow. But it it's slower. Like you're right, it does kick it slower. <laughs> 68. Slower, more juicy, Perfect. that's how we like it. I like it, okay. okay. Now, they have fancy stands you can buy to make freezer meals, but. but we're not fancy We're not here. fancy. We're just we're regular doing moms. Using things that we have. To survive. So we're putting our bag in the pitcher so you can put things in a little bit easier. All right, so okay. we're gonna first start. It's easiest to put your chicken in first or your meat in first because yes. it makes it heavy and it goes to the bottom of the freezer bag. <laughs> okay, I hate touching meat. Hey. That's a fear I have. <laughs> I'm okay with frozen. It's yeah, the raw that's kind bad. of. Mm. All right, so we're doing three or four, four. chicken breasts. Depends what do you on think? like how big your family is and if this they is like chicken. This is a big chicken. one. Do you think it'll fit? Throw it in, yeah, it'll fit. Okay. All right, after we have our three chicken, what okay. else we got in here? Now we're gonna add two cans, and let me check the ounces on this. 20 ounces of crushed pineapple. So they're the big ones of crushed they pineapples. They are the big ones. That's how much we like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, that's right. a lot. So this picture is kind of tall and skinny. Yeah. So in a second, we're gonna, actually we'll probably pull it out now, okay. just to make everything fit nicely. There oh, now we have more room. Is. If you're by yourself trying to make these freezer meals, yeah, yeah, this is a great option. Or if okay. you have two people, some can hold the bag. Yeah. All right. Okay. Then one cup of teriyaki sauce. One or thing the sauce. I love about the dump and go. It's it doesn't really matter the order because it yeah. just is all going in and it's just gonna sit there for a bit. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Ready? Okay. Come on, sauce. Go, baby, go. Okay. Nice. And of course, we like to eyeball. Yeah. So it's about a We're cup. Just guesstimating. And then is this uh, one? one whole onion? Okay. Chopped up. Finely chopped. Nice. Okay. And then. We have our baby carrots, and this is the only way that my husband will probably eat vegetables, so I'm gonna use the whole bag. I think I like the recipe's it. like a cup. And if you don't really like carrots, the recipe is delicious without the carrots, yeah. too. Or so. you could throw in zucchinis, asparagus, green bell peppers we've used before. Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay, we got it all? Yeah. Oh, did we forget our garlic? Oh, we forgot our garlic. 
Okay, so we're just gonna add about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of garlic. Perfect. Okay. Okay. There you have it. So when I'm done full. with the freezer meal, we're gonna, yeah, it is good. <laughs> I would say this will feed like, I don't know, six, six to, to eight. eight. So we're and just you can gonna serve it over rice. Mix um, it around. We like ours on quinoa, brown rice. Ooh. Have you tried the cauliflower rice yet? No. Oh, it's my favorite. You can get it like really anywhere from Walmart or Costco or. Mmm, we're gonna have to give that a try. Yeah, my husband loves it. It's another good way to sneak in veggies to my husband's diet. <laughs> exactly. All right, you just wanna make sure you have all the air out because you don't want any freezer burn at all. You can use a straw okay. and like suck it out, but okay. And then okay. the freezer meal's easiest. Lay them down and let them freeze just like that. Okay, we're gonna push this aside and we'll get the next recipe. All right, recipe number two is our avocado chicken. Now this <laughs> recipe is probably the easiest recipe you'll it ever really make. Is. Two ingredients, sign me up for that. Exactly. <laughs> Every I'm night. I'm just gonna show these a ton of these in my freezer because it only takes a second. I know. Oh, okay. I'll write on it. Please write, write it. please write. All right, so we have avocado chicken. Now because these are thick chicken breasts, we gotta cook them a little bit longer because yep. most likely they'll be frozen. So yes. in the Instant Pot, I like to cook my chicken or recipes for about 20 minutes. If they're frozen, I like to cook them for about 25 minutes. So 20, 25 minutes in the Instant okay. Pot and then let it release on its own. Okay. Okay, slow, slow cooker. cooker. Six to eight on low. On low. And okay. on the Instant Pot, you might want to add like maybe a fourth a cup to a half a cup of liquid, yeah. just because that's kind of a little bit thicker of liquid, mm -hmm. so you want some more liquid in there so it will pressurize well. So that slow cooker, no water, no extra water. No. Okay, ready? Let's add the chickens. Okay, so depends on how much, again, how much you wanna make. Um, we'll probably do, how many we got in there? Let's three or four? Three. Okay. Last one was a little full. It was. <laughs> so we have three, this will still okay. feed, what, like four to six people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have chicken hand, but that's it's all fine. gonna get cooked out. Let's so. Make sure they can see this. This okay. is by Herdez, it's the guacamole salsa. And it's so good. It's so good. My husband loves this on eggs. Does he? Yes, oh. it's so yummy. It is delicious. So with this avocado chicken, there we go. Um, I love to put it on like salad, mm. on tacos, inside enchiladas. That's it's kind of like the perfect meat yeah. for literally anything. We like to put on ours on rolls with like tomatoes and a little bit of chipotle mayo. What? It's really yummy. And banana peppers. My life has changed. All right, so we're making this for the slow cooker because there's yep. no extra water in there. So, okay, we're gonna put this to the side too. Freezer meal number three is our creamy Italian chicken. Now growing up, our mom used to make this all the time. Yes. She served it on pasta, on rice. rice. You can even plain. put it, right? Just plain so and then good. put it on a salad. That's how my husband likes I to know. eat it. I know, it's, it's really so yummy. good. Kay. All right, I'm gonna write it down. Perfect, we're gonna move this so they can see. Okay, Instant Pot, what would you say? 20 minutes, 25? Again, Kay. chicken, because it's if it's frozen, you're gonna go 25. If it's thawed, you'll go 20 minutes. Kay. Now if you want, what I like to do is sometimes they're so frozen when they come out of the freezer that I just throw it in the fridge the night before and then cooking it is a whole lot easier. Okay, Kay. that sounds good. Slow cooker? Okay, slow cooker, we're gonna Same. go, yep, Low, six, six, eight hours. Eight. What about high? What would that be, three to four? Three to four. Okay. The only thing- Low tastes better. It does, if you go high, it kind of dries out the it out. chicken. Okay. okay, are let's we ready? Let's do this. Okay, do, Start with do you the want chicken? to hold it? I'll pull in. Let's pour it do in that. the time. Okay. You got the chicken. I'll, I'll touch the chicken. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do four chicken breasts this time. Okay. Make it six to eight. There we go. Or if you're my husband, come on. His Whoa. stomach is a family of four, I swear. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Then we have some zesty Italian salad dressing. It's just a little pack that you buy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get it anywhere. Walmart. Is it one ounce? Smith's. Let's see. It's 0.6 ounces. 0.6 ounces. There we go. Just dump that whole thing in. Mm, nice. That smells so good. Yeah. Next, we're gonna add a can of cream of chicken stew. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, mm, delicious. Delicious. <laughs> But it, it makes better. it creamy, it makes it creamy. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna add just two cups of the chicken broth. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it because it really doesn't matter that much. So, <laughs> this is the pivotal point. <laughs> now, if you are cooking this in your Instant Pot, go ahead and put your eight ounces of cream cheese in there right now. So if you're gonna cook it in your slow cooker, 
you want to leave it in the box and just put it, I mean, if you're going to freeze it for like a month or so, you mm -hmm. can put it in the freezer next to it, or you could just keep it in the fridge too. Yeah. So we're going to make this in the Instant Pot. Yep. So I'm going to put my cream in. cheese in. And then when you cook it in the slow cooker, what is it, like the last half hour of cooking is when yes. you mix it in? You just in. throw this in. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of melts and makes it all creamy goodness. Yep. Fat-free, yep. calorie-free, carb-free, Yeah, this one's dairy -free. really healthy, but six ingredients less. <laughs> I'll We're take all it. About it's it. better than going out to eat. So Okay, so that's everything, right? Right. You go ahead and zip that up. Fill her and up, then squish out the air. There we go. Now I like to shred my chicken and all my recipes after they're all cooked yep. to make it a little easier to eat. Yep. All right, so if you love freezer meals, we actually have a post on our website. It's called 50 mm -hmm. Freezer Meals. You can check out a link in the description because it gives you tons of ideas to make freezer meals and not just the slow cooker, instant pot kind, even the kind that come in the tin foil pans. Yeah. And of course, you can check out six ingredients or less from Six Sisters Stuff. You can find that link in the description too. All right, so I'm curious, if you love freezer meals, what is your most favorite freezer meal that you have made? Go ahead and put a comment down below. Or what's a freezer meal you'd like us uh -huh. to try out? All right, if you love recipes like this, make sure you subscribe, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.